good morning good afternoon good evening depending on the time and location you are tuned to our channel thanks a lot for the visit if one person cooks for the public the public will consume the food and ask for more if the public the whole public cook for one person <laughs> That's recipes for disaster. That's what is happening to Ken Wakama now. Apostle to Ken Wakama now, he's in serious trouble. Before we we'll start, although early early hours this morning there was a meeting, he organized a meeting, a staged meeting, and he, he addressed things and uh, said his own side of the story. Um, we can't deprive him from saying his own side of the story, but I bet you his own side of the story. He said, when you listen to it, you will see a guilty man talking. First of all, he landed himself in trouble. Let us play the clip that landed Ken in trouble. Now the country director of the United African Alliance Grants, UAAG, Dr. Ken Wakama, has described media publications about his purported disappearance with grants meant for members of the agency as baseless allegations concocted to smear his reputation. At a press briefing in Abuja, Dr. Ken also disclosed that he never demanded payment from any member of the UAAG in the whole process of getting the grant ready for disbursement. Organi Victor reports. Dr. Ken Nwakama is the country director of United African Alliance Grant, UAAG. He said the press briefing became necessary to address the spurious and unfounded allegations that the long-awaited grant meant for beneficiaries had been released. My assignment is to get this money, give to the people. As we are speaking now, the money has not dropped. But there are so many enemies who just feel that God should take permission from them before appointing me to do this service. They are very angry, trying to blackmail me from different angles. I never collect money from anybody. I never ask anybody to pay me money. I've never made an announcement for anybody to pay me money. So when we get to the level we need to do verification, there was no fund. I now call for 100,000 Naira loan from ben each NGO, not beneficiaries. Each NGO, they didn't pay money to register. So I told them to give us loan. We, there's a document to this effect which we gave them, they collected and filled and signed, and they started giving us that 100,000 with intention we are going to refund it as the money drop. That is all about money I collected from anybody, and it is not Mr. Organization. It came to my NGO account. We use it and do the verification. Even after the verification, we are in debt of more than 7 million naira. Plus the staffs, over 200 staffs that work for us, we have not paid them up to now. He also called on the general public to disregard the rumors that the grant had been diverted to personal use. They've been blackmailing me everywhere here and there. All my children are abroad. I've sent all, you saw all of them. They are here. No one has gone apart from those in school. They blackmail me that are, are money that come from uh, verification. I, I bought four houses in Guarimpa. I wonder how much the money house are sold in Guarimpa. I can buy four with 400 million according to them. Some members of UAAG also had this to say. There's been a lot of rumor on that, um, accusing uh, the country director of uh, collecting money from people, which is not true. Um, when UAG began operation, uh, it was declared free and all of us applied um, and it's for free. Uh, to the best of my knowledge, at so this very hour we are talking right now, the grant, this money has not arrived in the account of the organization right now. Uh, you see, people have become desperate because of the situation in the country today. Apostle Ken expressed the hope that soon enough the grant would be released. Organi Victor, ITV News. So this is the genesis of the problem for Apostle Ken. He came time with our number emphasizing because after this broadcast, he still did, I think, three or four broadcasts emphasizing that he has not collected money. And according to the, the information we got, immediately they started writing petition against him to take him up to go and account for key for the loan he collected. He said he collected 100,000 100, 100, naira loan <clears throat> to account for the loan. 
Ken refused to come. When he finally came, he said the loan amounted to 100 million. And according to the source, according to the bank statement, and according to the everything they did, the loan was up to 400 million. So without all that said and done, we're going front and back. He was creating foot soldiers to start uh, diverting attention. As if that is not enough, he started antagonizing his uh, counterpart, Abdu. First of all, he started antagonizing uh, Ostas Daoud. You know, from the very beginning, we were not deceived. We in this platform, we in our channel, we were not deceived. When they were attacking Ostas, we were here. If you go through our content, there was never a content because we have analyzed the whole situation. We have seen the whole scenario. Apostle Ken comes out to make a speech every month and then it's not constant. It's not consistent. Only consistent thing is his irregularity and lies. We've been saying it, hammering it. A lot of people have been antagonizing us. That Apostle Ken is very shady. Finally now, last week. Abdul came out to clarify things and to say that, okay, let them bring the proof of payment. They now attacked Abdul. Everybody, yeah, Abdul should stop that, should stop that, should stop that. We also in this channel said that all those people trying to tell Abdul to stop that proof of payment and the statement of account and the accountability of AGPGN and UAG, that he knows what he's doing. So then as at day before yesterday and yesterday a news now getting us is that apostle ken wakama have been deposed as the country director by the government pending investigation because he has a lot of you know the government according to the insults we got the government needed somebody that is a bit accountable for them to disburse this money to and a lot of allegations have been roving around apostle ken and come to think of it to apostle ken another allegation is that first of all the money swindling from the beneficiary secondly that he should change the northern region of nigeria that he wiped out two thousand more than two thousand ngos from the northern side of nigeria and replaced it with that of the eastern side and most of them his own you know and the ones they have interest in so the atrocity of apostle ken have been is too much the money is there the government is about to release the money for them to disburse but if the if these things were not ironed out well you and i will end up not getting this money because the irregularities will end up they will end up using the money to satisfy the irregularities and at the end we that are supposed to be the beneficiaries the subscribers will not get this money so that is the the whole scenario we'll be giving you updates as we are getting but according to the information we are getting now we have not really authenticated that the information we are getting now is that apostle ken is facing some scrutiny and which may end up him not becoming the country director is him being the country director now is on the line and the statement he came out early hours this morning to make didn't help matters he spoke like a guilty man listen to the statement we are not children we are, we are adults we have common sense he spoke like a guilty man and he also countered this broadcast he said that he made a, a an interview with itv close to two hours three hours plus and they only really concise it to one minute said what he did not say he's not saying that itv portrayed what he did not say please subscribers you watch that video does it look like apostle ken did not say that nobody gave him money he's admitting that money was given to him but he's saying that what itv said wasn't really what he said where would this lie stop he's still lying on top of lies he has been caught black-handed he's still lying on top of lies anyway we'll keep you updated our prayer is for this money to come out but the way it is now if apostle ken issue is not treated and the money is is given to him to disburse i bet you you and i will not get our due we will not get our due see you on the other side bye for now